What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell, I have another Lord of the Rings box from a long expected parcel. And if you missed me unboxing their first ever box, definitely go check it out. That box was absolutely amazing. And since I got that first box from Claire, my love of Lord of the Rings has just grown. I'm actually reading the books as well. I know. Finally, I have finished the first book. I'm actually on the second. I kind of stopped for a while because I'm trying to read a lot of other stuff as well. And I am loving the books. The movies are amazing. They're what made me fall in love with Lord of the Rings. But I mean, it's kind of true. The books are always better. And I have just been so excited to see what Claire came up with for this box. For those who don't know, Claire is a friend of mine on YouTube, Instagram, all of the above. And she is a one woman business. She is curious curating these boxes all by herself. Her third box is actually on sale right now. I have already purchased that. I'm so excited. Now these boxes are kind of expensive. Again, she's a very small company, but what I ended up doing for this box and the next one was choosing the payment plan on Etsy. I love that they have that option where they divide it into like four smaller payments. So that definitely helped me be able to get this box and the next one. But as always, that is enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and do a sneak peek. My box kind of came a little banged up, but again, these boxes come all the way from Australia. And sneak peek, very cute. We got some gold tissue paper and some leaves trying to escape. And right on top, we have a card that says a long expected parcel, the journey begins. And on the back, there's a little note for me. It says, dear Tabby, thank you so much for supporting me. It means a lot to me. I hope you like this box, but the next one will be better. Love, Claire. Now, Claire did tell me that some of the items that she really wanted for this box wasn't able to happen. So this didn't end up exactly how she wanted, but I'm sure it's still absolutely amazing. And something in this box smells amazing. I don't know what it is, but something be smelling good, y'all. And another sneak peek. One thing I really, really loved about the first box was she wrapped the items individually with different like quotes and stuff from the book or movie. And I just loved that. And it looks like she did that again. So the first package says the Barrow Downs. Ooh, okay. And it's an enamel pin of a sword or dagger from Nerd Tea Creations. They're the ones who made the pin for the last box. Such a cool enamel pin. And I love how they designed it with like the rubies on the handle. And it immediately makes me think of the daggers. Now this isn't in the movies. This is in the books. It immediately makes me think of the daggers that all of the hobbits were given after they were rescued by Tom... Bombadil, I think. Bomb. I don't think I said that right. Bombadil. Bob. Bobadil. Mm, I done forgot. Um. But yeah, there was like a whole thing that the movies left out where the hobbits were like. Anyway, I don't want to give anything away if you want to read the book. But yeah, the hobbits were rescued by Tom Bombadil and they were each given a dagger. And this makes me immediately think of those daggers. So maybe that's what this is to represent. So yeah, I love this. Love that reference. And I can't believe the movies cut out Tom Bombadil. Such a cool character. Like that was, I think, the best part of the books for me because the movies actually did a fairly good job following the books, but they left out Tom Bombadil. I'm probably saying that name wrong. Just shoot me now. And the next package says, I ain't been dropping no Eve, sir. That's almost like a rap. I ain't been dropping no Eve, sir. Okay, anyway. Wow, I've had too much coffee today. Can you tell? Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's elf ear headphones. No way. I think I said it in the last video. I really want some elf ears for these boxes. And now I have some, but they're also a usable item that we could use to listen to music and stuff. And I ain't gonna lie guys. I'm totally dorky enough that I would wear these out in public. I have got to put these on guys. Hold the phone. Okay, hold on. How did these work? Oh, okay, so they go around. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy babies, y'all. 
Holy freaking rabies. I have elf ears. I kind of want to wear these the rest of the video, but the headphones are like making me hear myself in my head. It's really weird. But I, oh my God, the coolest item ever. I will so, so be wearing these out in public. I don't even care. What the mess? I, oh my God, I like, I look kind of cute with elf ears. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, God, I need to move on, but I don't want to take these off. I would have never thought of this, like, it's elf ear headphones. What? Mind blown. Okay, I have to move on. I have to move on. I can't even right now. And the next package says a shortcut to mushrooms. And it's a magnet that says a shortcut to mushrooms. And it even has a picture of mushrooms on there. Now this item doesn't necessarily scream Lord of the Rings to me. I kind of wish it would have had like a different design, maybe with a quote from the book or movie. But as I always say, you can never have too many magnets, especially when you have toddlers and they want all of their artwork on the fridge. And next we have two stickers. The first one is of Tom Bombadil himself. And the second one is of Tom and, oh, what's her name? Oh no, I done forgot her name. I've only read the first book one time. I need to read it again already, obviously. I cannot think of her name. Um, Goldberry? Gold, gold fur? I'm blanking guys. But yeah, and you can even see the willow that Tom saved the hobbits from. So yeah, you guys know I love stickers. I collect stickers, mostly Harry Potter stickers, but I will definitely make room for some Lord of the Rings stickers. But honestly, I think I wanna put these on my new iPad case. These are so cute. And the only Lord of the Rings stickers I have so far. So yeah, I know stickers aren't for everyone, but I love stickers. You guys know this, so. I'm a fan. <laughs> and next we have an envelope with a wax seal on the back and it says Frodo Baggins. Okay, I'm gonna try and open this without ripping it. And I'm failing. It is a replica of the letter that Gandalf left for Frodo that the barman was supposed to give him and forgot. And this looks so authentic. It even has the prancing pony at the top. Okay, I wanna go ahead and read this real fast. It says, Mid-Year's Day, Shire, 1418. Dear Frodo, bad news has reached me here. I must go off at once. You had better leave Bag End soon and get out of the Shire before the end of July at latest. I will return as soon as I can and I will follow you. If I find that you are gone, leave a message for me here. If you pass through Bree, you can trust the landlord, Butterbur. You may meet a friend of mine on the road, a man, lean, dark, tall, by some called Strider. He knows our business and will help you. Make for Rivendell. There I hope we may meet again. If I do not come, Elrond will advise you. Yours in haste, Gandalf. P.S. Do not use it again, not for any reason whatever. Do not travel by night. P.P.S. Make sure that it is the real Strider. There are many strange men on the roads. His true name is Aragon. And on the back, it says, all that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. From the ashes a fire shall be woken. A light from the shadows shall spring. Renewed shall be blade that was broken. The crownless again shall be king. P-P-P-S. I hope Butterbur sends this promptly. A worthy man, but his memory is like a lumber room. Thing wanted, always buried. If he forgets, I shall roast him. Farewell. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he did forget. I love this. Love, love, love this. I know, again, paper replicas aren't for everyone, but I love paper replicas. Like this truly feels like it's the letter from Gandalf and it just brings the book to life. And I love this. That is hilarious. The perfect paper replica for this box. And next, it looks like we got an apron, a Lord of the Rings apron. 
What? And this is what it looks like. It says, what about second breakfast? And it has an apple on there, which is actually what Strider threw Pippin when he asked, what about second breakfast? He threw him an apple. And this even has two really big pockets in the front. I love this. I love the quote. I even love the color because it makes me think of the green cloaks that the hobbits wore. I was definitely not expecting an apron in this box. Again, a nice usable item. I will definitely need to be cooking and baking more just so I can use this. And next we have another package that says, this my friend is not quite a pint. And it's a traveling cup that says the prancing pony. It even has like the sign of the prancing pony on here. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Love this lid. I actually love traveling cups. I use them quite a bit. And this is actually a fairly good size. But to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not in love with the design of this. I do like that it's themed around the prancing pony, but I do kind of wish the image on the cup was a little different. Like it's so spread out, it almost looks blurry and the whole back half of the cup is blank. Like I would rather have had a design that actually covers the entire cup. Maybe a design of the hobbits actually in the prancing pony. We could have seen them sitting at the table and maybe like around here we could have seen Strider in the corner. So yeah, not my favorite design. I still do really like this item. It is one that I will definitely be using quite a bit. And next we have another package, I do believe it's a candle, that says Night on a Mon Soul. I think I said that wrong. Night on a Mon Soul. Eh, I said it the exact same the second time. Okay. <laughs> and yes, it is a candle from Wick Stock Candle Co. Weather Top, Wood Fire and Spice, a soy candle. Ooh, so it's a white candle with a lot of sparkle. Yes, you guys know I love me some sparkle. Ooh, oh my God. I think this is what I was smelling earlier. Wood and spice together, it just works for me. I could smell this all day long. <sighs> Love this. <laughs> and next we have another package that says, Welcome to Rivendell. It is a jar that says, Rivendell Respite. This is so cute. Definitely giving me Rivendell vibes. And I think this is bath salts, guys. I might be wrong, but you can take the top off. Okay, so this has to be bath salts. This smells amazing. But even if this isn't bath salts, this is totally an item you can just have displayed on your bookshelf. You gotta love a nice usable item that you can also display. Yes. And the next package says it may help to slow the poison. Oh, what's that plant name? It's the one they give Frodo to slow the poisoning. Okay, it probably says on, just, just open the, just open the package. Ethelis. Wow, I can just hear Sam in my head. Yes, a weed. So yeah, we have a jar of Ethelis or King's Foil. I love this reference and the fact that this kind of looks like a potion ingredient, which just speaks to my Harry Potter heart. And it actually smells pretty good. Kind of strong. It reminds me of something. I have no idea what though. But it honestly kind of looks like tea. I don't know if it is or if it's just a prop, we'll definitely have to find out when we get to the spoiler card. But for me, this will definitely just be an item I display on my Lord of the Rings bookshelf. But we do have one more item, and I do believe it's an art print. And this even has a little quote on here as well. And it says, eat earth, dig deep, drink water, go to sleep. Oh, I think this is like a poster, guys. I am speechless. Look how massive this is. And we see the four hobbits on their ponies going through the old forest. I can't get over how amazing this is. The detail, like I don't even think the camera is doing this justice. I am 1000% going to get this framed and hung on my wall. I can't even y'all. I am in love with this. I am so glad I saved this item for last. Wow. 
Wow, 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 way to end this video. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So this was Eagle Mail, a long expected parcel, The Journey Begins. May Govenin, well met. Welcome to the second Middle Earth mystery box. I curated this one based on Frodo's leaving of the Shire and his perilous journey to Rivendell. So the first item was the Hobbit slash elf ear headphones. I immediately thought of Sam when I saw these and they brought a smile to my face. I hope they brought a smile to yours. Yes. Yes, they did. <laughs> Number two was the exclusive shortcut to Mushroom's Magnet. Mary and Pippin would be delighted if they knew the shortcut was through your fridge, designed by Claire. Number three was the Old Forest Poster, a nod to the book where the hobbits must take a path through dense woodland, only to find the trees are malevolent and determined to entrap them, especially Old Man Willow, designed by Bohemian Weasel Red Bubble. Number four was the Tom Bombadil and Goldberry stickers. <gasps> Goldberry! Did I say that? I don't think I did. But that was the name I forgot. Wow. Tom designed by Carter Robinson and Tom and Goldberry designed by Lord of the Rings reader Redbubble. Number five was exclusive Barrow Downs dagger enamel pen. After Tom saves the hobbits, each of them are given a Barrow blade. Mary's is particularly important. Concept by Claire brought to life by Gabby at Nerdy Creations. So the enamel pen was based off the daggers that the hobbits got from Tom. Yes, a brain of mine. Wow. Number six was the Prancing Pony Travel Cup. It won't quite fit a pint, but at least you can take it traveling. Designed by Kika T. Redbubble. Number seven was the exclusive Gandalf's letter. The far too late letter Gandalf intended to reach Frodo in the Shire. Guess Barlamin is going to get a roasting later. Designed by Claire. Number eight was the exclusive second breakfast apron. I included this movie line because it's just so perfect. Get back in the kitchen. Designed by Claire. Number nine was the exclusive sign from Gandalf Stone. In the book, Gandalf is actually leading half the Black Riders away from Frodo. He leaves a token upon Weathertop for Strider to find to let him know he's been there. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, so yes, I completely missed an item. That's why you read the spoiler sheet. Uh, so yeah, we already know what this is, but let's take a look at it. And yes, it really is a stone that has some markings on it, a reference directly from the book, and I love that. The movies completely left this out, and this was actually kind of a big thing in the book, so I love that Claire added this. I'm so glad I read the spoiler card because that totally blended in with these white peanuts. I probably would have ended up throwing that away. <laughs> Number 10 was the exclusive Weathertop Candle made by Hannah at Wickstock Candle Co. Number 11 was the exclusive jar of Ethela's King's Foil. Don't be caught off guard. You never know when you may need the healing power of the Ethela's plant. Carry it on you like a ranger should. Prop only. So don't eat it, guys. It's just a prop made by Claire. Number 12 was the exclusive Rivendell Respite Foot Bath Salts, and it does have ingredients on here, which I always appreciate. The next box will be dedicated to the fellowship, the Nine Companions. Make sure to check my Etsy store or my Instagram page so you don't miss out. I'm sure to use plastic only when an item requires for hygiene or safety reasons. All other plastics I receive is taken to a recycle facility in Australia. I reuse packaging I received myself, as well as recyclable materials such as paper and cardboard. Packing peanuts are made from biodegradable cornstarch and will dissolve in water, which is amazing. We all want to do our part in saving Middle Earth. I had to guys, don't judge me. I had to throw it in there. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. So I think there's a tie for my favorite item and that has to be the poster and the elf ear headphones. These two items just blew my mind. Can't get over these, yes. But I also really loved the apron, the letter from Gandalf, the candle. I mean, there were so many amazing items in this box. Least favorite item would probably be the magnet. I think that was the only item that I just didn't love. But overall, I thought this was such an amazing box. Definitely gave me 
all of the Lord of the Rings vibes and made me laugh. We definitely got a nice blend of usable and displayable items. I mean, honestly, I think the elf ear headphones won this box for me. I, I still can't get over those. Genius, absolutely genius. I cannot wait to see what she comes up with for the next box, which I have already bought and is on sale right now in her Etsy shop. I don't know how many boxes she's making this time around, so I would definitely go to her Etsy store and grab yours before they're gone. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And don't forget, you can now join me on Patreon for some exclusive content and giveaways. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> if you miss, journey <laughs> begins. So I'm trying to film apparently during a tornado watch. So if you hear thunder and stuff, great timing, Tabitha. <gasps> but we got some peanuts. No, 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 no. Y'all, I actually have really small ears. I have such a problem finding headphones that fit me. So I don't know if this. Oh, stay, stay. Oh, that one fits perfectly. What am I doing wrong on this one? Is it backwards or something? Oh, there we go. I am a little elf. 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 <laughs> what can now be? You shall not open. Ha 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 ha. Mm. What, baby? What? Do you want some of my water? Yeah. Here you go, baby. Is this brand new? That's brand new. That's my new Herbology cup. Do you like it? Where did you get this? I got it from Books A Million. My new Herbology cup. Books A Million? Mm-hmm. How do you got it from? These wiping looks like marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, no, don't you eat it. Okay, let mommy finish up. I gotta hurry before Bella and Daddy come home. Ooh, oh. is this a potion? Yeah, I know it's a potion. <gasps> my my mind is so Harry Potter set. I see anything in a jar and I'm like, is it a potion? It's a potion, I know. It's a potion. <laughs> I know it's a real potion. Ooh. It's definitely a potion. Okay, no, it is not a potion. <laughs> it's not. It smells like somebody good. Like somebody good. <laughs> it smells like a people that smells like a good body. Like a good body? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you love my water bottle? No, no, that water bottle. This one? You love it? Yeah. Yeah. What? Is, it's not a unicorn though. It's the prancing pony. Oh, I thought it was unicorn. No. Fancy unicorn pony. <laughs> Kit Kat is loving these peanuts, y'all. The trees are malevolent, mal malevolent, malevolent, malevolent. My God! Wow. Are you near?